giving more low-income families affordable child care. Travis County wants to bring up a new tax plan in order to do just that. And our Jayla Washington spoke to moms and child care providers in need as a group of them rallied over at the Capitol as part of a national movement. Working moms, daycare directors, and staff off work for the day, boots on the ground with their young kids. Hello. They're at the Capitol for a national movement called A Day Without Child Care. We need our child care system in Texas to value our labor. Trying to reach lawmakers. We're right here. Many are desperate for state funding to help make child care more affordable. Good job. And to make it possible to pay employees more. It's 1500 alone a month just for him. I can't pay that. That's Half of more than half of my check. Dairy Queen workers make more than child care workers. We haven't been able to raise our child care rates, and we have parents that are leaving because of the cost of living in Austin as well. The care we provide. It's a familiar song people have sung for a long time, asking for help. A new tune could come from Travis County. So we have to do something locally. Judge Andy Brown and Commissioner Jeff Trevelyan proposing a two and a half cent tax raise that would help fund a new $75 million program. We're going to help eight, over 8,000 families get assistance in some way of either childcare or after school um, assistance. Kids who are in programs are not like kids who are in trouble. They have guidance, they have structure. If it's approved by voters, it would cost the average household about $10 more a month. Brown and Trevelyan hope it would also help benefit child care providers, helping pay staff more too. Without us, y'all can't go to work, and without y'all, we don't have a job. <laughs> Jayla Washington, KXAN News. And commissioners will talk about this possible raise in next year's tax rate at tomorrow's commissioners meeting.